Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be painting using standard supermarket gouache. We're going to be painting this Winnie the Pooh illustration that I have hand drawn yesterday and just outlined using a biro but once painted we'll then use a dip pen and black ink. Let's get started. I had a go using the paints yesterday and completed this illustration. It came out quite better than expected. You can still see some of the brush stroke marks from the sort of, it's a bit gloopy um, supermarket gouache, but it's a lot better. It's by Mapped. Um, it's much better than the Le Franc Bourgeois. I can't quite pronounce it, but when I tried that one, it was, um, as soon as it dried, it flaked off the page. So this brand is much better. It's nice and vivid. So with that said, let's have a look at the paints I'll be using. They are, as I said, by Mayped or Maped, however you say it. There are 12, 12 mil tubes. They say they're super pigmented, mega quality, gouache, poster paints, or tempura. Technically though, tempura is pure pigment with egg, but they are basically a poster paint that is, um, they've got clips here, the case, slightly difficult. You have to really push hard, but it's to keep it all secure. We open it like that and you have your set there. You've got purple or is that splash purple. You have all these fun little names for the tubes. And splash green. This is Wonder Orange. So I won't go through all of them because I've put some into my little ice cube tray palette, basically. And I just, like that, you can see. So I'm just going to put some blue in and then we will get started. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to use two different size brushes, thick and thin. And I think I'll start off just, I've got my two pots of water by the way. One for washing the, the brush and one for painting with. It just helps to keep everything cleaner longer. So just wetting the brush and I'm going to wet this tree area back here. I'm using the Pink Pig sketchbook. It's 150 GSM. Just doing standard brown. Good mix. Some of the paint is still from yesterday, so you just add a bit more water to reactivate them. And they're doing really well. Very impressed, considering they're basically just the school children. Some poster paints take a very long time to dry that I've used. It 
is a very quick drawing. Just doing Winnie the Pooh, I think. It's a nice yellow. It's having an adventure with Piglet by the looks of it. Wearing his little pirate's mask. Or well, hey, his hat, not mask. Have you seen the uh, Winnie the Pooh movies? The latest one. That's where... They are more realistic. I'm not sure if I'm that keen, actually. I prefer the animated versions. Now they've tried to be inspired by Paddington Bear, but Winnie the Pooh, I think. It's better animated because the beautiful watercolour backgrounds, it's very artistic. I don't find these realistic things are very... For me, they're not that artistic. You must leave the comments below. Have you seen Winnie the Pooh? And what's your favourite Winnie the Pooh movie? Let's add a little bit more water in. Think sometimes, as soon as you add his colour, he really comes to life. He always has his red t-shirt. It's very iconic. looking too bad now. Then we will do his red top. Yeah. A nice vibrant red. I hope this shows you that even with the cheapest of art supplies, you can achieve really nice results. I feel I'm a mixture of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, so I thought this illustration was perfect. I'm often forgetful. I'm not actually that keen on honey, I must admit, but I am forgetful. And I can often be hurt then. Oh, bother. I'm 
think that's it for the red. We'll clean the brush. the yellow to do his tummy. I needed to be sure that of where everything was. Sometimes it's not clear till I've painted other areas. The rest will stand out. That's better. Good. There he is. He's come to life. What we do have to do, that's now made his top stand out. The arm of his t-shirt over here. Just a bit of the back. Now, I'm not going to do the, the hat, the exact colour that is in the illustration in the movie because I just want to do something different, just a different colour. So. be a yellowy colour but it's also going to have a bit of browny. Changing my mind now, I've mixed it. For some reason, I just want to do green. Yeah, a nice light green. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't know why. I just think it's going to come out nicely. I don't like planning and deciding beforehand. I just like to, I suppose I'd be called slapdash, but I find it's more creative for me to decide at the time and then change my mind. And because I do change my mind an awful lot. That's the whole creative process, I think. I don't want to be regimented and decide it's going to be one colour and then when it comes to drawing and painting it would be better than other. Very sweet with his goggles. There. Yeah. And then we're going to be doing the I 
think some pale yellow for the ropes. Now I'm going to use magenta straight from a tube and work on piglets. bit more definition to that.
It's grey. So the thimble piglet is wearing on his head. I think this illustration is from the 2011 animated movie where they have to find Christopher Robin because they he's been taken by a Baxon. really good fun painting Winnie the Pooh illustrations. I would say it's my favourite of all the Disney are the Winnie the Pooh illustrations. just to give some definition to the ground. Do some green to begin with. And then some brown just to mix to give that nice earthy feel to it. I will give him the blue goggles. bad is it?
skin. We just got to give him a black nose. And that's that. So now I've just got to outline it with pen. And I'll be back to show you that in a minute. And this is how it looks after the dip pen has been used to outline it all. I'm pretty impressed. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!